everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be watching a video called To Let Animate It Jason Voorgies Freaking I don't know how to say this, but Jason Voorgies through his cycle. Tomorrow we're gonna watch this one. Okay, tell it animated. Tell it Oh, there it is. Tell it animated. Here you go. The front of the 13 films are known for horror icon Jason Voorhees. Yes. From misshapen boy to space monster, yes. let's go through his progression. Jason first appears in part yes. one as a bald, deformed child who drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. Yes. His mother later avenges his death, only to be killed herself. Yes. In part two, Jason is alive somehow and seeking revenge for his mother. He's full grown and wears a plaid shirt, overalls, and a one-eyed sack. Unmasked, his head appears lumpy with patchy long hair. Jason is bulkier in part three and acquires his iconic hockey mask and trains the overalls for blue pants and a green dress shirt. He also ditches his hair for a shaving look and oddly shares little resemblance to himself in part two. In the final chapter, Jason's clothes noticeably have more wear and tear, and his face looks much more deformed. He's sliced to death by his own machete and presumed dead. Jason in the beginning is revealed to be a copycat, so let's move on. In part six, Jason lives. Jason is brought back to life when lightning hits his corpse. While zombified, he dons the same attire, but with additional gloves. In the climax, he is chained to the bottom of Crystal Lake. In Part 7, The New Blood, Jason is let loose by a girl with psychic powers, and now sports a chain around his neck and clothing that is even more tattered, revealing bone and his, dead, dad. his mask is broken and reveals an extremely dead, rotted dad. face. But once again, to stop the rampage, he's sent to the bottom of the lake. Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, has Jason awoken by electric shock and finds a new mask. He now seems perpetually wet. He hops a boat to New York, and once there, is melted away by a toxic sludge. But don't worry, in Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday, Jason is alive! Again! His mask is now embedded to his face with wisps of hair falling out. Within the first ten minutes, he's blown up and presumed dead. But the film carries on as his ghost possesses other people. He eventually resurrects himself, but is soon stabbed by a magic dagger and dragged into hell. Jason is risen by Freddy Krueger for their crossover, Freddy vs. Jason. His mask is no longer embedded, his skin appears leathery, and he's game hide. He's also sporting a new brown coat. Jason X shows Jason back to his normal hide and flesh-colored skin, and his face appears lumpy. He's cryogenically frozen and let loose on a spaceship, and later rebuilt with nanotechnology, which gives him a shiny new mask and bodysuit. With nowhere left to go, the Jason series was rebooted with a more classic look in 2009, leaving Uber Jason in space. Yes. Well, that's probably it. Peace out, guys. See you later, alligators. Have a great freaking ass day.